Spanish Journal of Digestive Diseases Review. Introduction. Angiogenesis, that is, the formation of new blood vessels from pre-extant ones, is a concept currently growing in interest both in the clinical medicine and basic science setting. This results from its potential role in the pathogenesis of various cardiovascular conditions respiratory chronic inflammation by a number of organisms rheumatoid arthritis, and diabetic retinopathy in addition to tumor growth and resulting metastatic spread. How does the angiogenesis process occur? Angiogenic activation is followed by vasodilation, which allows the extravasation of metalloproteases. These in turn degrade the extracellular matrix and endothelial base membrane. ECs differentiate and proliferate under the action of selected growth factors and cytokines, particularly members of the VEGF gene family and angiopoietins. Click the link below to get started with special discounted prices and to get free bonuses too. The gastric mucosa after H. pylori infection, inflammation and microcirculation. In the inflammatory process, activated leukocytes are characterized by an increased synthesis of various cytokines and oxygen-free radicals. While these mediators most of them pre-inflammatory are initially directed to defend the body against bacteria, such toxic substances may unintentionally damage epithelial cells, thus reducing mucosal resistance to gastric acid. How does H. pylori infection act upon ECS? ECs are a potential target for a wide variety of mediators, and a key factor in angiogenesis. This is due to the fact that EC differentiation, proliferation, migration, and invasion represent crucial stages for this process. Thus, the study of ECs in the presence of H. pylori is important, but the literature on this topic is scant. Angiogenesis in H. pylori-associated gastritis. Atrophic gastritis is considered a precursor lesion of intestinal-type gastric cancer, which is associated with hypergastronemia and the ensuing induction of cyclooxygenase 2 COX-2, whose products seem to be responsible for delayed apoptosis and angiogenesis in gastric cancer. Angiogenesis in H. pylori-related peptic ulcer. Once a peptic ulcer has developed, angiogenesis could be logically considered to become activated in order to help in ulcer healing and epithelial repair. This process is essential, as it facilitates oxygen and nutrient supplies to injury sites, as well as the clearance of necrotic tissue, thus facilitating repair mechanisms. Angiogenesis in H. pylori-related gastric cancer. It has been suggested that H. pylori eradication may influence tumor vascularization in gastric carcinoma. In summary, COX-2 seems to be inducible in response to cytokines, mitogens, growth factors, and the presence of H. pylori, and may induce carcinogenesis via mechanisms involving apoptosis inhibition, cell proliferation increase, and angiogenesis increase. Conclusions the presence of infection is associated with a higher density of blood vessels in clinical conditions such as gastritis and gastric cancer. H. pylori eradication accelerates ulcer healing. This may suggest an altered expression or regulation of some repair inhibiting angiogenic mediators in the presence of this bacterium. 100% money back guarantee within 60 days if you are not satisfied with the results. Click the link below to get started with special discounted prices and to get free bonuses too. Please like, share, comment and subscribe the channel for more legit product reviews.